Awe News was started roughly in 2014 to bring awareness to the plight of elephants and other endangered species. From 2011 to 2013, more than 100,000 elephants were poached for the ivory tusk. This is a replica of what one looks like. Imagine 70,000 of these a year being produced for sale for our demand for ivory. The United States is a critical component of this. In fact, over seven tons of illegal ivory have been crushed in the United States in the last two years. In 2014, a group of individuals got together in New Orleans to create what's called the Crew of Awe. Crews are unique to New Orleans. They march in parades and they do social philanthropy. This group of individuals got together and organized numerous events starting in 2014 and really picking up in 2015 to create awareness that numerous species were threatened with extinction. Awe really intensified in July of 2015 by marching in the NOLA running with the bulls. Five people dressed as elephants ran with the bulls, made a video about it, and then the global march for elephants and rhinos in March. At the same time, restaurants became involved. Mugshots restaurant outside of New Orleans started coloring days. Other artists became involved, such as Ann London and Max Bernardi, to create the coloring pages and to show their work on the TV show that was created called Awesome Wildlife Effort. Another great artist named Hernan Cairo built a sculpture behind me. For this dedication, Awe brought in the lieutenant governor, the mayor of the city, numerous council members, a huge ribbon cutting happened, great food, many people showed up, but also Joey Ratliff, an elephant trainer that lives in New Orleans, showed up to talk about how great these animals are and their threat for extinction in the next 20 years. The crew marched in two parades, one in Metairie, Louisiana, the Corpse of Napoleon, and one in New Orleans, the crew of Tux. In both these parades, they towed Peanut and dressed up as elephants riding bicycles, handing out coloring cards to thousands of residents, getting them to chant, save the elephants. The whole community became involved. And then the following weekend, they went to Mandeville, across the lake from New Orleans, and were in the crew of Mahdi Paws, also handing out the cards and getting the kids to say, save the elephants. Awe hosted events throughout the year to create awareness. The first was a tribute to Satow, who was poached in Kenya, an icon of Kenya, more than 50 years old, a great tusker. Tusk, over 100 pounds in weight, hence the definition of a great tusker. In July, the crew went out to Folsom, Louisiana and hosted a birthday party for Sky the Giraffe. Sky was celebrating his first birthday. The crew adopted him and had a great turnout for this event at a beautiful facility that has over 4,000 animals on it. Then in April, Awe had an Earth Day event, which had a great theme, what do elephants and oysters have in common? With this concept, Awe was trying to create awareness for Louisiana that they could relate to. Everybody in Louisiana loves oysters. They're part of the culture, they're part of the food, they're part of the lifestyle. If you can understand that oysters have a habitat that's threatened, and so do elephants, more people from Louisiana will get involved. Awe has also produced numerous films, which are now being covered in local media. Jefferson Parish Community, WLA-TV, also in newspapers, the St. Tammany newspaper, the Clarion Herald. The importance of saving vanishing species has caught on in New Orleans to the efforts of Awe. Now, there's actually one more piece that's gone on, and that's on St. Claude Avenue in an art garage. A young girl named Anna has created Anna for Elephants to help spread her message that she has taken on as a 12-year-old in New Orleans. Subscribe to Awe News. We've interviewed numerous people, artists, legislators, people operating sanctuaries, activists, who are working hard to save vanishing species. Get involved.